What's up, guys? So, update 5.5. Please don't call it update 6. It's not update 6. It's update 5.5. Has introduced yet another quirk, and we have our third cosmic quirk, and apparently it's called Titan. Now, I'm joined here by Exu, who actually has the new quirk already. I tried to get it. I wrote like 8,000, and I did not get it. But yeah, Exu already has it, so we're going to showcase it here uh, with him. But... I don't know, it's probably just AFK or something. I don't even know. As soon as he switches, we can have a look at it. So yeah, basically this new quirk is a little bit better of a version of Giant. Okay, so there you have it. He's now transformed. You can see pretty much like all of these like uh, VFX, the, the lightnings and the like the, I don't know, smoke like effects. These are from Titan. So that's all Titan. Uh, Makima herself only has the hearts. I mean, you can notice it as well, right? Like all this lightning and the, the smoke effects are from the Titan. Now, this thing is, as I said, a slightly better version of Giant. And literally, that's all there is to it. I don't know if it's better than all the other passives, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and check out at his stats. So now, Titan has 3x base damage. So it has the highest like base damage multiplier out of any passive in the game. You have 50% crit chance, 50% crit damage, and you have a minus 20% attack speed. So your multiplier is 0.8x for uh, the attack speed. And it has 1.75x size mold. Now, if we compare it to Giant, Giant has 2.5x damage and 1.2x crit. So it does give you 30% more crit and 50% more base damage, but what basically just makes it like a little bit better is that it has a 50% crit damage multiplier and this might be the only thing that makes the passive uh, any useful if I'm being honest. Besides that, I don't think anything else does really make it useful and I think the reason why it's gonna end up being meta and probably used is because of the crit damage because none of the other passives has crit damage multiplier and as you guys know that uh, the diminishing returns and the interactions to this game are working kind of weird. Like, for example, when you add all of that stuff, like, they don't work on top of each other. They only affect the bases. And I guess the best example is, like, skins, right? Like, this guy gives, like, 100% damage, but if I remove him, that doesn't mean that my unit will go to 130 million. So, for that reason, I think that a uh, giant, well, Titan, not giant, is gonna be probably a go-to because it has that extra 50% crit damage, uh, crit bonus damage on your crits. And you also kind of hit crit cap with it because it gives 50% critical strike chance. Both Celestial and Black Hole give 1.3. So you have 50% from that. And then you would have 30% extra from either of the two Cosmic Quirks. And then your Perfection Screen gives you 15%. So you have 95% crit chance, right? So essentially, you have a flat 50% damage increase on top of the 3x. That's why I think that Titan is actually probably the new best cosmic passive in the game. Strictly just because of the extra like uh, crit damage that it has. If we didn't have that crit damage, it would be absolute piss. But strictly off the, uh, to that crit damage multiplier, it is probably the best passive. Now, which of the two other passives is the best to complement it with? I have no idea. I think it just comes down to what you want. Like, if you want um, boss damage, you obviously just go with Celestial. If you don't, you just go with Black Hole, as it is more well-rounded. Now, Celestial has another advantage on this particular topic. It gives 2x attack speed instead of 1.5x that Black Hole does. So it kind of helps to fill in the attack speed gap that uh, the... Titan creates with having a minus 20%. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it regarding the new passive. I think it's the best cosmic passive to play around. I don't know what the best combination is. We have to do tests. I could just jump on a test server and uh, do tests between the units, which I will. So I'll make a video eventually once I test all the combinations. Well, it's not like there's too many combinations anyway, right? It's like three variations. Um, black hole with Celestial, black hole with Titan and Titan with Celestial. But yeah, I think it's just gonna come down to what you want. If you want boss damage, you'll just go Titan Celestial. If you don't want boss damage, you go Titan Black Hole. Now, Black Hole also has the niche that it teleports the units, which I really, really like. But yeah, uh, besides that, I don't know. There's really 
nothing else. Now, on the subject of damage, this update fucked up the entire game. People are doing negative damage and apparently um, Trimark wanted to fix some stuff with the skins and like all longer like ultimate animations doing less damage and whatnot. And in the process, everything got fucked. That's why you're doing less damage. But yeah, people at the moment are doing about 5x less damage. Not fun for anybody. Nobody likes that. So yeah, apparently it's a bug and it's not intentional. Now, on the skins topic, Astolfo skin got nerfed. So if you have these, Perfection Astolfos, they're not better than the Cosmics anymore. Or I don't know. Apparently that's what people say. I will test that as well, if they are any good anymore. But yeah, uh, they also got fixed. Well, nerf, I don't know. If you want to say nerf, call it a nerf, but it's a fix, right? There is no way that you can have a mythical skin, like being reasonably better than a cosmic skin. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it in regards to the new passive. Uh, as always, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all on the next video. Peace out.